Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and last time we did the leg for Calico, and now we're going to work on the chest. So we're going to go ahead and create a cylinder, and uh, we're going to make sure the subdivisions, and it has a zero cap. Uh, make sure you assign the correct texture to it. Once you have that, go ahead and assign the semi-transparent shader and bring it up to her torso, and we're going to start shaping it. Very similar to the legs, what we're going to be doing is scaling and moving. So what I'm trying to do is keep the center line of the cylinder to be in the center of the character. So it's going to be very easy to mirror the geometry once it's done. So you're going to see that I'm going to be scaling in one direction exactly like the leg and uh, just starting to shape the body. Now, just to let you know, this is accelerated a little bit. It is uh, about 50% faster. So hopefully you'll get the idea of how this works. Once I have the front and done, I'm going to go ahead and go to the side. And uh, you can see that it's not placed. So I'm going to go ahead and place, scale it in one direction. And same story, we're going to go to the vertices and start scaling and moving. Uh, this is a really fast way of getting the torso. The nice thing about the torso is that it's like a cylinder. And uh, by making all these changes, we will naturally get a rounded body. Now you could start with a cube if you wanted to and then start adding edges on edges. But for me, this is just a fast way of getting the, the torso completed. So notice that I'm not moving any of the vertices up or down, or if I am, it's very little bit. Any type of geometry that I need, I'm going to go ahead and add an edge loop. So I am going ahead and adding edges right now. And don't forget to manipulate it so that it fits the body perfectly. So this is uh, this edge that I just added is going to be under her, uh, her breasts so that it's going to be easy to extrude later on. All right, so now that that's completed, that's kind of that's the base. I'm going to go ahead and delete the bottom and the top of the cylinder so I don't have to worry about it. And you can see that the character is already starting to form, which is awesome. This is exactly what I want. What we're going to be working on today is not only the torso, we're also going to start working on the arm. And the arm's going to have the similar uh, edges and the cap and everything, just like the leg and the torso. So again, I'm going to look at the front view. I'm going to scale and I'm going to place the arm uh, in the same place as the reference image. So you also notice that on the side view, she doesn't have an arm. You only see where the arm's going to be placed, but that will give you enough of, a, of an idea of where it's supposed to go. I'm going to go ahead and select the top edges and just, or vertices, and then rotate it and start placing it in a way that's going to fit onto the shoulder. And, uh, and then I'm going to, same story, I'm going to go ahead and start scaling it and just uh, placing it. Now she does have a cartoon arm and this is a cartoon character, so she's not going to have the the anatomy of a realistic character. Um, I do suggest that you look at anatomy when you are trying to create a photoreal character or a photoreal arm. And the reason why is because there is a, um, there's a lot more information on a realistic arm than there is on a cartoon arm. And a cartoon arm, I can actually get away with a lot, which is just a cylinder. Um, as you can see, I just added two extra edges along the, uh, the elbow as well as the wrist. And again, the purpose for that is that if she's going to bend her arm, it's not going to break. So make sure that you have that type of uh, information there as well. So now that I've basically have the arm set, once again, I'm going to go ahead and delete the top of the arm and the bottom of the arm to make sure that everything looks good. I'm going to make it solid so I can see through it. I don't no longer can see through it and I just thickened the arm a little bit just to make sure that uh, it fits a little bit better to my to what I see as my artistic choices. So you can see that um, I'm also changing some edges and grabbing some edges just to make sure that it's got a realistic shape. All right, so I am working on the torso again, and this time I really don't want, I don't need the full torso. I just need half of this torso. I am going to mirror the geometry later on. Uh, I'm also grabbing the, uh, the edges of the center and then flattening them out. So it, the line of edges is actually at the center of the character. So now that I've done the torso and the arm, as you can see, it's very fast. I'm now going to go ahead and show you how to attach it. I, uh, you always want, when you're working with the legs, and the torso, you want to make sure that everything fits. And one of the things, two things you're going to check is uh, the angle, the topology. Okay, three things. The angle, the topology, and, and the amount of edges and vertices. So what I'm doing is extruding and starting to place the geometry of the torso to the leg so they match. 
and I'm trying to get an edge flow where everything kind of points towards the center and also towards the pelvis area. I'm also extruding because it's very important to, uh, to have a place for the crotch, so don't forget that aspect of it as well. I went ahead and double clicked and I'm des deselecting the edges that I don't need and I'm again I'm angling it so that it's going to fit the leg. Now you may be wondering what's going to happen to the skirt. And for me the skirt's going to be important but that's going to be later. Right now I'm just going to create the shape of the body. Now there are a certain number of edges that you need to be able to attach the leg to the torso. So I'm going in and actually inserting edges all along the torso so they will match. Now that I have that first, I extruded and uh, deleting those center edges for the crotch because I'm not going to need that. And now I'm going to combine the mesh and now I'm going to use the tool to actually snap the vertices together. Now this handy little tool is, is basically welding. You're just grabbing the two vertices that you want to be attached and you just click and drag and you just, and it kind of snaps to it. Now you got to be careful because if you grab the wrong vertices, you'll actually connect the wrong one. So you can see here that I actually have a couple of edges that don't have like anywhere to go. So that means that I didn't count the edges correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and undo and then I'm going to create another edge and adding it to the center. And same thing for the back. You can see that uh, I'm going ahead and welding the vertices together. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Go back into vertices, grab the weld tool, and weld them together. So it does give me a little bit more geometry to work with, but uh, I could always just move things around, make sure that everything's okay. Now it's about uh, aligning things, just kind of moving things around, making sure that everything is uh, moving smoothly. You do want like a nice edge flow to your mesh. And uh, so I'm gonna go around and just kind of see if there is an extra need for more geometry. I use a smooth preview to see how the body is doing. By pressing the number three on your keyboard, you can see a smooth preview and it gives me an idea of what's going on. Um, I also remove certain edges because if I have too much mesh and I don't need it, then there's no need to have those edges. So I go ahead and delete them. All right, so now that I have my character's basic body set up, the next thing is going to be to attach the arm to the body. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. Remember to share my videos with your friends if you think they are worthy. And also don't forget to uh, comment. I always like hearing what you think. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next video.